Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be playing with an absolutely exciting product. It is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. And I am so excited to play around with this. I saw Huda Beauty's video recently, and this is apparently the thinnest tip on the market. And apparently it's 0.9 millimeters, which is very, very slim. And it gives you hair-like strokes. You know, there's lots of claims about this that it's like transport proof and waterproof and all this kind of stuff. So I will be testing that out. But yeah, I got the shade uh, number seven, black brown. My natural hair is very dark and you can kind of see the roots and the ends are blonde, but I kind of like to keep my brows like quite dark. I think this is going to be the perfect color for me. I was actually really, really impressed but with her shade range for her eyebrow pencils because there was about eight colors. And honestly, when I was like having a look at all the colors, I was like, which one do I get? And I'm, I'm like, I have dark eyebrows. I always get the shade dark in, in whatever I'm using. So for there to be this many, I was just a bit shook. So this thing retailed for £15. I mean, that is a lot, a lot. And I got it on 20% off on boots for £12. So still kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I usually use like an e.l.f. pencil or Beauty Pie or Colourpop or something like that. Something under £5 because if you're ever gonna finish a makeup item, it's gonna be a brow pencil. Those babies run out so fast. So 15 pounds a time, I'm a bit like, hmm. But this pencil might be actually really well formulated so you only use a little bit so it's gonna last long. We shall see. Okay, so taking it out of the box, this is the brow pencil in all its glory. It's actually very cute, very, very lightweight. It's a lot more lightweight than I was expecting it to be. Because it's so expensive, I was wait expecting it to be a lot heavier than this, but this is literally, it weighs next to nothing. I like the packaging. I don't love the packaging. It's like a similar kind of shape to her mascara, which I have on at the moment. <laughs> Let's open her up. So this is the spoolie side. It's actually a really nice, thin, dense spoolie. It reminds me a lot of the XX Revolution Brow Fix. Spooly, I love that brow pencil. Honestly, it's my favorite. It has like a really pretty, like kind of metallic pink color. The packaging is really cute and it's heavy. That one is like, is cheaper than this one and it feels a lot more luxe in the hand. This one would be good to travel with though. It's not gonna weigh, weigh your luggage down. Right, moment of truth. Let's open the tip. Ta-da! This is the tip and she is fine i kid you not she reminds me of you know the pencils that you get at school and you like click the end and the lead comes out that is genuinely what it looks like and it's actually genuinely that thin so i'll do like a few strokes on the back of my hand i don't know if you can see that but i've done a few little strokes there it's very thin very faint so that's promising like you can build up the color I don't like something too pigmented. I've said that on my channel before. If you've watched some of my videos before, I like something where you can build up the intensity. Sometimes you're just not in the mood for a super bold brow. Right, I've done the rest of my makeup off camera and we are just gonna get straight into this eyebrow tutorial because I'm really excited. So without waiting any further, let's get into the brows. So my eyebrows are usually, okay, once or twice a year, they'll be twins and then Quite a lot of the time, they'll be sisters. And occasionally, they will be cousins. So let's see if this is gonna make them twins. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my brows how I usually do them. So I line them underneath, like so. Okay, so the product, the tip is like really fine and precise, I love that. Okay, I'm getting like pigment. The harder I press, obviously, the more pigmented it's gonna be. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. This is actually a really good color for somebody who has like, like a soft black or a dark brown hair. 
in all honesty right i took out literally the tiniest amount and it's not really eaten through this product a lot so i have hope maybe it, this will last you a while so i usually line the top of my eyebrow underneath and then i fill in the sparse areas i'm just gonna do that and try and do like little kind of like strokes it's funny because i actually did a full face of her beauty makeup um, a video on my channel recently and I was complaining that she doesn't have any eyebrow products and here we are Maybe I should do that video again at some point. I just need her to release some blushes and some like single highlights and yes Okay, I kid you not that is actually Really good Oh my god, look at these eyebrows. This is a perfect brow like i would be saying i'm having a good brow day i'm really really i'm i really like that it gives me the kind of brows that the nyx eye eyebrow pencil or the colourpop eyebrow pencil would give me i guess it is a tiny bit more thinner so they really look like very natural but i do think you can get similar effect with the with a cheaper pencil but that being said this is nice so i'm just gonna spoolie through them okay i feel like that's making me look like i'm having the best brow day ever so let's do the other one and see if it's equally as easy Okay, I am loving that. Let's spoolie through these. Okay guys, these brows, they are done. And I am so impressed. I was like expecting this to be as good as it was. Now I'm just gonna put that out there. But you know what? It was actually really, really good. Okay, I wanna show you how much I've used on the product. So I had probably rolled it out maybe one millimeter and I've used that for both eyebrows. Okay, so in all honesty, that's not a lot of product for both eyebrows. I am like feeling daring and I'm tempted to just like roll this all the way up. But then I'm scared that it's a bit like those lead pencils that would just, you know, break off. What if I'm just wasting 15 pounds here? Well, 12 pounds. Okay, no, I didn't waste it, thank God. So this... I want to like, I want it to focus. Come on, camera, focus. This is how much product you get in. There you go, you can see that. So I reckon if you're using a millimeter, maybe half a millimeter, however much I used, probably last year, a month, a couple of months, maybe. Depending on how often you use your eyebrow pencils. Okay, so to really put these brows to a test, I'm actually gonna spritz them with setting spray. And then we're gonna try and rub them off and see what happens because we're being a little bit adventurous today. Let's see if they're as good as, you know, the, the hype is, are they worth 15 pounds? Are you gonna be able to swim with these brows on? <laughs> Let's find out. Just really get that thing wet. Just spritz my eye and I have mascara on. Not the best idea. <sighs> yeah, it's really funny. Like I, I saw this product and I, was, and I knew immediately that I wanted to try it. But Huda Beauty, she just like randomly announces her products and then they're out after a couple of days and you're like, whoa, okay, that was very fast. She really knows what she's doing. She's a smart lady. Huda Beauty is a smart lady. And I'm just gonna wait for that to kind of dry. And then we're just gonna try and rub it and see what happens. Is it transfer proof? Is it water resistant? Let's try the dry one actually. So this one is dry. Okay, I've just been like rubbing this eyebrow and nothing. A little bit of foundation on there, but not the eyebrow. Eyebrow seems to be on. Eyebrow's chilling. I actually cannot stop looking at my brows. I'm like, ooh, because they're identical or similar, like pretty close to being identical. And that is so rare. Okay, you know what? It's like semi-dry, so we're just gonna, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Right, let's press this finger. Ooh, I feel like there's a little bit of 
bra products on there. It's a little bit, not a lot, but you know, let's like run my finger. Just like casually ruin my brows. Okay, I would say like there's like a little residue, but it's nothing major. All right, I guess that's good. My brows are not gonna come off when it rains. <laughs> okay guys, so that, I cannot with myself, like seriously, I ca cannot. <sighs> Why am I so dramatic? Okay, so I flung that across the room on hard wooden floor and still intact. So I guess it's built strong. <laughs> it passes the throwing test. Yeah! <laughs> that was my quick and easy review of this Huda Beauty Bomb Brows eyebrow pencil and i actually think it's a fantastic eyebrow pencil i'm not gonna lie i really like my brows right now i feel like it could last you a while if you use it sparingly because you don't really need to use a lot of this to build up that pigmentation so it's it's pigmented and to be honest it's not too pigmented so you can control the level of pigmentation it's very fine like genuinely my eyebrows look really natural and like fluffy and that's the way I like my eyebrows and this has achieved that so that's an achievement yeah the formula is good the end result is good price not so good I feel like it could be cheaper an eyebrow pencil is an everyday essential doesn't need to be that expensive maybe like between 10 and like 15 pounds it would mean all right like 12 pounds i feel like that's such a fair price for an eyebrow pencil because like at 12 pounds if you had 20 percent off then it would be like under 10 pounds and i just think that's so reasonable i just don't understand why an eyebrow pencil has to be so expensive like the packaging is not that looks it's very like it feels cheap not gonna lie it feels cheap I love beauty products to be affordable. That's my job. That's my thing. I like to try lots of different things. So if it's a decent price point, then I can justify it. If not, I'm, a, I'm kind of, I'm put off a little bit. Like luxury things, they're nice as a treat, but not all the time. Do you know what I mean? This is something that you, I would be like, I am treating myself to buy this. And this is going to be my fancy eyebrow pencil for when I'm going out for events, blah, blah, blah. But at this price point, this would not be my everyday eyebrow pencil. And that's just me being sh totally straight with you guys. Overall, nice eyebrow pencil. Great brow day today. And yeah, I am definitely, definitely, I, I do recommend it. I think it's nice. If you're wondering, should I get it, should I not? I think it's a nice one. And if you have like very sparse brows, this is gonna do amazing things for you. And to be honest, if you have full brows, in all honesty, I don't think you need this. Just go get yourself an elf eyebrow pencil and call it a day, because you, you're already blessed with, you know, beautiful brows. <laughs> you don't need to be spending 15 pounds on eyebrow pencil. But yeah, um, that is my little review and honest thoughts on this brow pencil. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button because we're very close to a thousand and genuinely it means the most because I'm just like a small YouTube creator and every sub means the world to me. And yeah, hope to see you guys on my next one.